this is quality work, quality books, quality journals, quality conference papers. And so it's not only large, it's the best research that's available to, to anybody around the world. You need breadth because the world is a connected place. For example, thinking about energy. Energy really has aspects that involve geology, that involve finance, that involve physics, that involve chemistry. And so really we live in a connected knowledge landscape and I think Scopus actually captures that and allows us to navigate that landscape. If a journal wishes to engage with Scopus then it has the opportunity, perhaps more so than if it doesn't engage, to reach a much wider international audience. We hope to be able to save professionals time in the work that they do but also to help direct them to the most important material which is effectively being pre-selected through the quality of the journals which we include. Content quality is everything. And what makes good science, makes good knowledge, is that um, it is saying something new, it is saying something well-based, it's saying something which is aware of the wider literature. The best journal in Russia, the best journal in China, I believe, have to be in an international website. It might be that it's a journal in a very narrow area. It might be that uh, the editor is working at a very a small institution. But if the content of the journal is of high quality, then um, that journal should be included, included in Scopus. We know what's good. We know what's not good in terms of quality. Uh, that evaluation process ends up in us either accepting that journal for Scopus or if we decide that it's not up to par then we give very specific recommendations on, on what the editor and what the publisher can do to, to, to improve. This is the power of Scopus is that you can refine yourselves and be able to spot exactly what you need in order to proceed with your research, with your evaluation, whatever. Science really is internationalized. As we know, international collaboration is really, really important. So, you know, to have that, you've really got to have material being internationally read. Scientists everywhere uh, need to know what the Japanese and the Koreans and the Russians, as well as uh, the Dutch and the Americans, are finding, learning. If we didn't have that information, there'd be a hell of a lot of redundant effort uh, as people in the United States took the trouble to discover the same things that the Italians had discovered 15 years ago. We're living in a globally contracted world and what affects something over here will have an impact over here, whether it be economics or weather or health. It's important for, for Scopus to have that kind of breadth.